For years, we've heard the claim hormones in milk cause early puberty. Our David Schechter looked into this one, and it turns out it's something a lot of parents worry about. He has some answers in tonight's Verify. Let's get those samples. All right. Oh. I'm, I'm a little bit scared to go in there. I'm not, get in I'm, I'm not going to lie. My name is David Schechter. I'm a veteran reporter, and now I work for you. I'm taking real people out on the road to get their questions answered, and you're coming along for the ride. This is Verify Road Trip. So I would buy this one. Okay. This is what I would buy right, today. So God, that is the happiest cow ever. Pretty happy. <laughs> That's my friend Jocelyn, and she only buys organic milk for her family. Recently, she was telling me when it comes to her two daughters, she's got a big problem with conventional milk. Immediately, you're like, hormones. Yeah, hormones. That's what I care about in the milk. It creeps me out. What I had heard was that it could potentially start the puberty process in girls sooner. And she's not the only one that's worried. If you search, you can find article after article on this topic. So what's the truth? Dairy cows have a natural growth hormone that helps them produce more milk. In the 70s, scientists developed an artificial hormone that injected into the cow helps them produce 10 to 15% more milk. So do the hormones in milk cause early puberty in girls? I'm taking Jocelyn to figure this out. To see how a modern dairy produces milk, I'm taking Jocelyn to the Southwest Regional Dairy Center in Stephenville, Texas. It's both a dairy and a research facility. Well, I still picture like a person sitting on a stool with a pail milking a cow, even though I don't think that's happened for like 70 years. Actually, they're big on technology here. It's called a carousel parlor, mainly because it goes in that circular motion, kind of like a merry-go-round or a carousel. -like. They're tracking a lot of data on these cows. They wear a collar that records how much they eat, how much they walk, and how much milk they make. All that information gets sent to our database system, gets filed into her cow record, one more piece of data is how much fat is in a cow's milk, and they're letting us two city kids grab some samples. Without a doubt, I did not want to have any cow waste on me. How do we know if they us? recently had a bowel movement? How do we know that? Well, you because, don't really know, but it'll be all right. Because I've seen a couple of them, and it is quite something. I'll let you know. It's pretty epic. Keep moving. <laughs> you gotta keep moving. We could not work here. Ah. And so there is your milk sample. Wow, look at that. And that's how we know what's going on with them. Cows can't really say, hey, I'm feeling sick today. Give me some Tylenol. Now that we know how a dairy works, let's get back to the question of artificial hormones and puberty. Hello, girl. Dr. Ellen Jordan is a professor and dairy specialist with Texas A&M University. Do you think that the addition of hormones is affecting our children at all in terms of early onset puberty or their development in any way? No, I don't. Why would she say that? Well, for 25 years, the FDA has said milk from cows treated with artificial hormones is safe for humans. And Dr. Jordan takes it one step further. She's telling us that the addition of artificial hormones does not change the chemical composition of milk. Are there a lot of dairy farms in Texas still are adding it in for milk production? And what's your thought on that? I don't know of any producers that are actually using it that are going into the fluid market here in Texas at all. Did you catch that? Dr. Jordan is saying Texas dairies do not treat their cows with hormones. She says consumers just don't want them, and so dairies stop using them. So if you're buying expensive organic milk to avoid artificial hormones, you're likely wasting your money. It's all a marketing gimmick to get more money out of the consumer, is what it amounts to. And I probably shouldn't have said that, but you know, it is. All those milks are safe. They've all basically got the same hormone levels in them. It's not an issue. Are you accepting of the argument that if you're concerned about early puberty, don't blame the milk? Well, I don't think we can blame the milk anymore because apparently the hormone is in none of the milk, unbeknownst to us. So if you can't blame early puberty on the milk, what's really going on? 
We're at Children's Medical Center in Dallas talking to Dr. Grace Tannen, a pediatric endocrinologist. She's telling us the age that girls first get their period is not happening any sooner. The age at first period really hasn't changed much in over 40 years. What has changed is breast development. In some girls, research shows earlier maturation happens a year sooner than experts once thought. Tannen says it's likely a result of better overall nutrition. Body size and then percentage of fat has a lot to do with the triggers for development. Can milk from cows who have been treated with an artificial growth hormone, can consuming that milk cause them to start the development process earlier? I don't think that there's any good evidence that that actually happens. Jocelyn has learned a lot about what's in milk, what's not, and how it affects puberty. I feel pretty comfortable that that milk passed through to humans is not doing anything to start the puberty process sooner. That, I think, has been, for me, verified. So get out your Oreos, pour yourself a glass, and enjoy. Because we verify there's nothing to fear from hormones and milk. But don't take my word for it, take hers.